Billy Napier cost the Florida Gators another victory. He's done it again. He has done it again. This game was, excuse me, that's me walking into a room. This game was Florida State last year, 2.0, except it was worse because you were dominating Tennessee from pillar to post in that first half. They couldn't score any points. The defense played their asses off. The offensive line for Florida was moving the ball up and down on Tennessee's defensive line the whole game. The run game was good. Both quarterbacks were in a rhythm. The special teams was all right. Every single, for the most part, until the second half came, every single thing that you could have possibly needed to do in that first half to walk, to help you uh, win a game here tonight, you did, but yet you failed it because Billy Napier with his stupid jet sweeps, this man should never, this man should be legally banned and barred from legally banned and barred sorry i had to close the door for a second legally banned and barred from and making any play calls whatsoever jet sweep on a fourth down and one when your offensive line is moving the ball on them you could have just hand them the ball off to the running back uh go up the middle and if they stop you okay but you probably would have gotten the first down then after and then after graham Mertz fumbles it at the one yard line which okay I mean, I don't like the quarterback sneak idea either. I don't understand why you couldn't just hand the ball to your running back and at least see if that could work. But okay, fine. It's something that, that Billy Napier has done many times at Florida, so he figured it would work again, but it just didn't. But in uh, then uh, towards the end, it's three to nothing. Sharif Denson gets you a great interception. You had an opportunity to walk away with a touchdown or at least a field goal into the halftime, which that which that came back to bite you in the ass because you had to go to overtime. And then it's because you burn a worthless timeout. And then even so much the timeout, because Graham Mertz gets sacked, you come, you put your field goal unit on the on the um, field, which you got the field goal, but you had 12 men on the field again because it's year three of you as a head coach and you still can't get 12 men to line up on the field. You are a terrible head coach. You should not even be allowed in the state of Florida, let alone Gainesville. You need to just get just clean out during the bye week after you play Kentucky. I don't even care if you win and win that game or not. I mean, I'm not going to root for you to lose, but I, after that Kentucky game, you need to just clean clear up your office because you're going to be at home and just get ready for the eventual firing that's going to come. And the Florida boosters should not wait, not allow this man to finish the season. They shouldn't allow this man to finish the year. They need to just, you know what, just. If you want to let him coach the Kentucky game, fine. But afterwards, he need to go. He just his presence should no longer be tolerated. He has absolutely screwed over every big uh, chance for uh, uh, every chance for a big win on his resume. He has screwed it up. He's done it with Florida State twice the last two years. He did it uh, with Arkansas. He did it with um, with Missouri. He did it with. Um, he did with Tennessee the first time he was there on the road, and he's done it again tonight. You are the worst coach in Florida Gator history. In my, in my opinion, you are possibly the worst head coach that was hired in the 2020s decade. You are terrible. You don't know what you're doing. You, you don't know how to call plays. You literally could have had eight Tennessee players on the field, and you still wouldn't be able to make the right play call. I feel bad for Graham Mertz and Montreal Johnson. Both of them got hurt, and they wasted their final year of eligibility on Billy Napier. I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad for uh, for Elijah Badger for putting his trust in Billy Napier, transferring over here along with Shamir De DK, along with so many good players that have been on this that are on this Florida team that you know do the best they can for him. <sighs> Like he just needs to go. And if DJ Lyway wants to enter the transfer reporter because he's loyal to Billy Napier at this point, let him just let him. It, it, what it's not going to do you any, it's not going to uh, do you any harm because you're not winning anything over the next two or three years. Anyway, even if you do hire Lane Kiffin, you just need to just cut your ties, cut your losses, move on from Billy Napier right now. You literally, this was, this could, I got to stop using the word literally. This was by far, you could have been your biggest road win of your career by far maybe even your biggest road win overall because of the circumstances you're coming off the U UCF and Mississippi State wins and you're like well maybe Billy Napier is and, and it seemed like Billy Napier learned from what he did last two years because well he uh was too aggressive which cost Tennessee which cost Florida the victory against Tennessee in 2022 and this year he was too conservative 
Two years ago on the road to Tennessee, you were too aggressive. This time you were too conservative. You cannot find a happy medium. Every, the defense shouldn't even be upset. If I was a defensive player for Florida, I'm like, don't even get mad at us for giving up that touchdown towards the end because we did everything we could to give you to get you into keep uh, to keep you in this game and for you to win it. You didn't. They didn't score a single point in this game, not one. And the offense. <sighs> Oh, Billy Napier's play calling just cost us. He's calling stupid screen passes late in the fourth quarter when you need to throw the ball down the field. Why are you calling screen passes at that junction of the game? You didn't do that not one time throughout the game earlier, but you felt like right now was a good time to do it. You are just not good at your job. There's no other way to say it. You're not good at your job. You shouldn't be coaching at Florida. I don't even know why I'm, I'm even getting this upset. I don't even know why I'm getting this upset because I I knew I I picked Tennessee to win this game back in the uh, before the season started and I reiterated it before the week started. But I figured Tennessee was just gonna leave no doubt and blow Florida out. I actually would have been less upset about Florida about Florida losing this game 34 to 21 like I predicted instead of this because I actually thought wow you actually had a shot. But you will never have a shot with Billy Napier as a head coach. Scott Strickland, you need to be fired. Uh, uh, Billy Napier, you need to, you need to go. And quite frankly, anybody else that wants to stay loyal to you, they need to go. And every season ticket holder for the Florida Gators needs to boycott the games until this man is no longer the coach at Florida. They should not show up. They should not invest money, their energy and their time into a program that can't find, that couldn't find the right head coach if he was staring at them in the face. They lucked out with Urban Meyer and they lucked out with Steve Spurrier. That's the history of this institution. They cannot hire good head coaches to save their life. They just can't. They just can't. For Pete's sake, man. This I, I I'm I'm just so I'm just so fed up. I'm just so over this. I'm so over Billy Napier. Man, you need to go. You need to leave. If you would have won this game, I'm not going to say it would have taken you off the hot seat, but it would have at the very least say, well, you know what? He not only he got his biggest road victory of the year, and he would have um, gotten his first. This could have been the first season that Billy Napier actually got not one but two road wins on the year because every year at Florida, he's only averaged one road win. You, you could have gotten road win number two against a top 10 opponent. That would have did. That would have been great. That would have been a good feather in your cap, even if this was your last year anyway. And because you lost this game, now Florida has to win three of their final uh, six games to make a bowl game. If you would have won this, you could have looked at Kentucky as a possible win and Florida State as a possible win, and both of them are still possible wins. But now, because you lost to um, Tennessee tonight, when you had a chance to win it. You got to beat, now you have to either beat Georgia, Texas, LSU, or Ole Miss, and I don't see that happening. Florida's going to miss another ball game. If you would have won tonight, I would have been like, okay, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. You could have had, you would have given you four victory. It would You would have been at the four victory mark, and you would have been heading into um, the home game with Tennessee, uh, at, not Tennessee, I'm sorry, Kentucky, with all the momentum you could have po possibly have hoped for. But nope. Billy Napier finds a way to um, screw it up yet again. Scared money don't make money my ass.